everyone this video is mainly for young surgeon as well as post graduate students who want to deal with the diabetic foot so diabetic foot to start with uh, if they plan any surgical procedure they should have a clear view how they start with an incision so in a diabetic foot the infection tend to spread across particular lines so i'm going to tell you in that one suppose for an example if it is a trophic ulcer at the first metatarsal base so and if it is infected it tend to spread across the underlying tendon say for example for this uh, ulcer site it will probably spread across the flexor hallucis tendon so like this so the incision should be planned vertically so as to if at all it is required you can incision you can extend further also or else if you want to give a very good lateral clearance you can do a criss cross incision also so you have to trace the tendon that is the foremost important you have to plan any incision like that so that you can trace the tendon how much you require so if you come for tendon all the tendon no it will travel in this direction towards the flexor retinaculum so this is uh, this is flexor tunnel so so if you cut this flexor tunnel you should be careful not to injure your posterior tibial artery which lies in there so like that uh, the anatomy of the vessels is also uh, the doctor should know so that no they will be very careful once they come at that point suppose no if it is a ulcer at the toe site if any surgeons want to debride that one the digital vessel he should be taken care of if you debride the, the uh, web space the digital vessel if they injure there is chance for vascular compromise and it may turn into gangrene also and if it comes for uh, incision again one more point i want to tell you the incision should be lengthier incision so as to give a very good thorough debridement if you put a smaller incision and if you don't ad adequate debridely the, your patient will come again and you need to go for second stage debridement so usually it is better to avoid that one and the anatomy of the underlying uh, musculoskeletal structure as well as tendinous origin also you know, it is important so suppose if you uh, plan for a uh, uh, partial foot amputation if it is a four foot it is okay if you go for a mid foot or high mid foot sometimes you may tend to cut this tibialis anterior uh, tendon so uh, then the uh, foot mostly will go for equinus to correct uh, that on table you can lengthen this this sensation no you see this one this is uh, so you need to lengthen this tibial achilles tendon by z plus t thereby you can reduce that uh, equinus deformity so all these things no even though it may seem to be a minor uh, this thing these are all very important when it comes for practical aspect in de dealing in a diabetic foot and uh, everything the co consequences and the complications as well as the probable complication all these things needs to be informed to the attender or a patient bystander well before you plan any surgical procedure and more than that uh, the coverage of the wound either it could be a grafting or it could be a flap cover all these things no you need to tell that one as a second stage procedure sometimes it is better to do as a second stage procedure in an infected wound so all these things you need to tell well before so that patient will be ready for everything and the duration and probable recovery also if you speak to the patient attender your uh, practice will be comfortable and patient won't have much questions about us so thanks for watching this simple video thank you thank you very much